Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I trust you're well. Uh, thank you uh, for joining Real Talk Show, hosted by Violet Mbiti. Uh, this particular show, uh, we host guests from various parts of Africa who are doing uh, amazing, amazing stuff. All right. So today uh, we have Christian Gan from uh, Cameroon. So I usually call him the guru in the cosmetics uh, business, all right? And he's here to share with us his journey on how uh, he started. And uh, if you have any questions for him, uh, you can ask him, you can comment on the, on, 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 on the, either the YouTube page or even the, the Facebook page. And if you've not yet subscribed to this show, kindly subscribe so that may be receiving notifications anytime we host amazing change makers from across the African continent. So, Karibu to the studio, uh, Karibu to the studio, Christian Gunn. So, <laughs> I know he doesn't understand yes, Karibu. Uh... <laughs> but uh, Christian and I met, ah, okay. uh, yeah, so Christian and I met in 2016, during the Tokyo International Conference on Africa Development. Uh, so it was an uh, entrepreneurship uh, meeting that, uh, that brought together African entrepreneurs. And it was organized by United Nations University. So that is how I managed to meet uh, Christian and uh, we've kept in touch since then. So Christian, kindly share with us uh, your journey on becoming an entrepreneur, especially in the beauty industry. I know now you have so many conglomer conglomerates or whatever. <laughs> English is, <laughs> yeah, kindly share with us uh, your journey yeah. on how you started the, 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 the beauty business and what drove you to start it in the first place. Um, yes, th th thank you. Thank you. Um, for the, the invite and um, okay, I was started. Uh, I'm I, I I'm a financial engineer first. I was uh, studying in France and um, I studied in France, then worked in the the financial industry as an investment banker. I first worked for an investment fund and then. Uh, uh, an investment bank and um, after three years I decided to go back to Africa to Cameroon my own country to to start my own company um, Madin Kazalis which is um, um, uh, an African cosmetic brand um, uh, focused on natural organic products so we manufacture we manufacture uh, creams Body lotions, soaps, scrubs, masks, uh, etc. Uh, why? Why I started um, this company? I was inspired by my mother, which who is a, a pharmacist, and uh, I was also inspired by by the fact that the the cosmetic industry was booming in uh, in Africa, uh, a ten percent um, uh, increase. Um, per year with uh, a significant uh, middle class um, around 500 million people so i all, also wanted to to fight against uh, bleaching products um, in africa because a lot of companies um, uh, local companies uh, manufacture uh, essentially um, uh, lightening brightening products so i wanted to 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 create um a, a more uh, a, a company that uses local crops and because uh, africa is very rich and uh, we use a lot of uh, ingredients such as aloe vera um lemon uh, red cabbage, coconut, uh, shea butter, etc. So, so 
So that's it. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Nice to nice to hear. So um so what was it a smooth journey when you started this uh, this business? Like because you had shared with me earlier that uh, you started this business in your kitchen. Huh? Just a small space and now you are exporting to more than 20 yeah. countries worldwide. So <laughs> Kindly share with us the challenges that you faced <laughs> and at what point did you decide that you need more members, uh, you need to hire more people? Um, no, no, uh, no journey, no entrepreneurial journey is, uh, is smooth. So you, we, have, we have to fight and uh, we need first to be, uh, to be humble, to start. I, I always say, is, say um you need to start small and think big so a lot of young entrepreneurs just want to to do big things uh, but they don't have enough money they don't have enough support they don't have enough experience so uh, i decided to to start very small even i even if i had to to to, to do high degree to to have high degrees and work uh in uh, in top-notch environments but i needed to start uh to start small and uh it's it was not easy because uh first a lot of a lot of people uh are half complex uh because they some people think uh foreign products are better products and i had to convince them i had to we had to to educate them and to show that we can we can produce um, high quality products locally. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> so we started this business with your mom at first, and then at what point did you yes. say that uh, you want to employ more people? to help you in this journey um at the very beginning i think uh, uh, uh six six months after i started because we need we need a salesperson we need uh i was the first salesperson of the company it's it's normal the 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 the, the ceo is is the the, the first salesperson salesman of the company but we need to delegate um gradually delegate because we, we, we you can do any you can do everything even even in uh, producing uh, so so quickly um I, I i recruited one self salesperson then two then three etc all right all right and uh, <clears throat> at what point did you start uh, having distributors in your business like after what period of time after what period of time yes yes did you start having distributors yeah uh, oh yes yes um um very um uh, at, at 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 the very at the very beginning so at the very beginning and uh, it was it was challenging but we we succeeded all right and how and uh, how did you get to uh even export to the us uk and even I saw that you had posted that uh, you, your products are also being uh, are also at Carrefour supermarkets. How did you get there? Yes. Um, to get to the supermarket, but we, we started gradually. We 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 um, first we we did direct selling, so people order the products and we deliver the products at home at and um, an office 
Then uh, we expanded uh, with pharmacies, uh, essentially in Yaoundé and then in Douala. Um, and uh, only in 2015, because I, I started the company in 2012, only in 2015, 16, 15, 16, we started, we targeted um, supermarkets because it's not the same business model. It's not uh, the same type of customers. So it, it, it is not easy. So we, we needed to be ready to, to, to get into these supermarkets because they, they are, we, need to, we needed to have capacities. We needed to, to, to have norms. Um, we needed to to have co uh, barcodes, etc., to 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 get to 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 compete with uh, biggest uh, bigger brands uh, in the supermarkets. And concerning uh, foreign markets, uh, we have some um, we have some partners. We have a partner in uh, in Dakar, Senegal. Um, that uh, uh, an online platform uh, uh, where people can order the products in different countries. So we have comp we have uh, customers in um, in a lot of countries in Africa, like uh, Ivory Coast, Gabon, Senegal, even in Europe, France, Holland, um, Belgium, etc that can all order the products in this platform. But um, in this platform and um, and uh, the, the uh, we also have um, uh, some some people that uh, uh, that use us as a subcontractor so we can manufacture the products for them. And we recently manufacture uh, a product uh, called Charbon Plus, where the promoter is uh, the, the the CEO is based in uh, in US. So yes, we can say that some of our products are are in US right now. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. So the other question I'd like to ask you is re with regard now to investors. At what point did you uh, say that uh, see that uh, you need investors to uh, to partner with you in Madeline Kazalis? Um. Uh, yes, we we um. It was not easy to 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 have investors. Uh, especially in Central Africa. Uh, I know that uh, in some other countries in Africa, uh, like Kenya, like uh, South Africa, like Nigeria, um, um, they have a lot of investment funds there and local investment funds. And, and some people get funded uh, with million dollars. Uh, in Central Africa, it's more it's more difficult. It's more difficult. We don't have a lot of investment 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 fund, but I um, the company participated to uh, a lot of um, competitions, uh, startup competitions, and um, we um, we were gra granted. We we had um, we had grants, and we had uh, a South African company that uh, put five. Uh, twenty thousand dollars in two thousand and fifteen. Uh, twenty thousand dollars for for a five percent stake of the company, uh, and it it comes from South Africa. So, so we had this chance uh, to uh, to have a small fund to 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 buy equipment and to recruit more people, and then after I had also uh, small private investors. Uh, that put uh, money in the company, but we 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 really need to have a track record because uh, it creates confidence. A lot of people come because they see uh, that we have a viable product, a minimum viable product. They see that we have we distribute in more than two hundred supermarkets. 
they see that uh, the, the, the CEO is very active. They see a lot of things, but we, we, we need to fight to have this fund, but it's not that easy. I think if I was in another environment, even in Africa, uh, the company could have been bigger. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. And uh, I, so I think it was last year or last year, but one, you were at Harvard University. Was it Harvard University? I think you had, you had, you had gone there for a course. Sorry? Sorry. I'm saying I Respect. saw you at uh, Harvard University, Harvard, Harvard Business School. Ah, OK. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw you had posted that how you are. How about the school? Harvard, Harvard. <laughs> the Harvard Business School. Ah, business school. Yeah. Um, uh, if I a uh, business school, um, if I um, uh, ah okay, I you know when I um, when I studied when I studied when I had my degrees, um, it was essentially for 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 myself. It was essentially for myself, and I really wanted to do business finance, uh, international affairs, because I really wanted to have all the tools uh, to, to pursue all whatever career I want to pursue in my life and do what I want to do. So after um, uh, I decided to go back to school to, 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 um, to study agribusiness in, in US and to to um, because I, I didn't have the uh, I studied I studied in France and uh, I wanted to to even if I I traveled uh, a lot I really wanted to 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 learn from 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 the US from from the best I really wanted to learn from the best and uh, that's why in two thousand and seven. Uh, 17 and 18, I uh, I completed uh, other executive programs in uh, in uh, in US. That's that's it. So we we need to learn every day, every day, and we need to learn. All right, all right. So now uh, you have a multi million uh, dollar uh, factory. Is it, uh, I, I, I saw you, uh, have, is it finalized as we are speaking right now? Because I saw that uh, you had uh, set the foundation late last year. So is it finished? Is the factory finished? The factory that you had set up? Yes, the factory. Yes. That I set up. For the for Madeline Kazalis. Um yes. Um okay. Um a company needs needs to grow. And um it's not uh as I said, uh it's not easy to it's not easy to grow in our environment. It's not easy. But if you want to to compete with uh, the best in the world, you need to you need to you need to grow you need to find a way to grow and i want it to 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 enhance uh, uh, our capacity and to be more independent we needed to have our own factory and we needed to to have a vision for the future so that's why i i started um, an ambitious project to to build a, a, a Two thousand square feet factory uh, uh, in the suburb of Yaoundé, and uh, I the, the work we worked there one year, and uh, we we both uh, uh, some equipments, uh, but it's not easy 
<laughs> when you it's not easy when you 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 manage uh you operate with a small boat it's not the same as a big <laughs> as a big boat because uh we have so many um issues and uh it it needs money to 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 manage that kind of factory and we you need to find markets you need to you need to to uh, to reduce costs um so you can uh, you can go further aha uh -huh. So, what advice do you have for uh, entrepreneurs, especially the ones who have started in the in the in the beauty uh, cosmetics business? Mm, so many advices. Um, uh, I in two thousand and eighteen, I, I I created a concept um, that I call Path path like uh, the path and um, in French uh, patience audace travail humilité so in English um, patience adventurousness task and humility so if um, uh, uh, an entrepreneur an African entrepreneur or an uh, an entrepreneur in Africa want to start a company, I suggest that he needs uh, to have a lot of passions because uh, we didn't build uh, Roma in a, in a day. So you need to be passion. You need to, to go step by step, step by step. Then uh, you need to be adventurous. You need to 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 fight every day you, you don't have to be ashamed of your company of your business of your ideas if you have a good idea and if you have a one the first customer uh you will have the market and uh, the first customer is the key so you need to 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 sell your company to sell your concept every day and to learn um task it's work uh, you need to work. You need to work a lot uh, efficiently. And um, uh, when you work, um, you need to do your own works. Do your own works. Know your sector. Uh, know your environment. Know your customers. And um, you will succeed. And um, at the end, there is um, humility. Humility, why? Because you are not the first, you will not be the last uh, entrepreneur. So some, a lot of people did what you are trying to do way before you. So we need to le learn from them. You, you need to learn from the elders. You need to, to, to educate yourself every day, every day, because we are in an very changing environment and uh, and uh, you need to adapt and to adapt you need to to learn more and more concepts that's why what what i can share to to to, to young entrepreneurs wow awesome awesome so if you have you are an entrepreneur there uh you've had what you've been uh, what you've been to, uh told uh, if you have a question for him, uh, you may type in the comment section and uh, uh, yeah. So, like, how many awards have you won? <laughs> <laughs> and, which was, Ooh, and which one was the most notable? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh uh, 50 uh wow thirty fifty uh wow <laughs> it's i think it's uh it's um it's mot it, that it's mo for motivation it's for motivation it motivates me but uh they don't pay me <laughs> unfortunately they don't pay me to when i receive <laughs> these awards <laughs> But it's it's just motivation. It's just motivation, and uh, 
Uh, it reminds me why I'm doing this business and uh, it gives faith to me and uh, to other young, uh, young entrepreneurs. So there are many, 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 many awards of recognitions. Uh, but at the end of the day, we need to make money. That's it. Indeed. At the end of the day, you need to make, you need to make money. So, viewer, we've come to the end of uh, this uh, live show. I hope that uh, the, the questions that uh, you had in mind uh, have been answered. And uh, we want to say thank you, Christian Gunn, for gracing the set. Uh, congratulations for starting your amazing, uh, amazing yeah. enterprise, which is uh, helping so many uh, women uh, across Africa. Do you also have products thank for you. men, or those products are just for women? Oh, oh. men and women. Oh, so we it's have, not just, uh, OK. Men line. Oh, so they cannot yes. they also use your products. Yes. Ah, great, great. So yes, yes, ten percent of our customers are men. Mm -hmm. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Ten percent. Or ten percent are 10 men. Ten percent are men. Ten or ten percent. Or ten yes. percent are men. And we have a line. We have a special line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha. Indeed. So um. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again for gracing the set and uh, thank you for also being consistent you. with your craft because uh, since uh, we met last time uh, you've uh, you've grown tremendously in the work that you that that you do I usually see you on uh, social media and updating us on your progress uh, in Cameroon and uh, even as you as you uh, as you and enlarge your territories to other countries in Africa and also other continents. So uh, congratulations, congratulations to you and your team. And uh, from, us is, from us is just, uh, we wish you best of luck and uh, blessings, even as you continue you. with your adventure. Thank you. All right. Thank you, bless so, you too. Thank you. Uh, you're your welcome. Wonderful show. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, viewer, uh, we've come to the end of the show. And uh, thank you for being patient. And uh, I hope uh, the show was informative and uh, it's going to help you move uh, to the next level in your, in your business. All right? So thank you once again. And uh, see you next time.